Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to this SWL Signals channel. Um, go ahead and do a um, band scan on my SDR here um, using SDR console version 3.3 um, of the 11,000 to 12,000 um, megahertz band today. And as you can see, there's uh, plenty of signals on here. Um, looks like there's obviously more um, when you get past 11,500 um, due to the international broadcast band um, that uh, resides up there. Uh, a lot of stations there. Um, doesn't look too much like too many utilities coming in this morning, but we'll we'll proceed through and uh, see what we hear. So the time right now is 1344 UTC. I'm located on the west coast of central Florida, um, about 40 miles north of Tampa, if you want to use that as a landmark, in a town called Port Ritchie. Um, using uh, MLA 30 plus antenna outside, which is about three feet off the ground. Um, it is a new MLA 30 plus antenna, as my last one got destroyed by a rodent who chewed through the coax completely. So no hope saving that. Much cheaper to buy a new one. So I got that, put it in, and um, this time I elevated the coax so it has to keep it off the ground and um, away from said rodent. So um, go ahead and we'll get started here. Um, you can see there's uh, some local interference that's popping up um, there as well by those little spikes that pop up in the uh, in the spectrum there. Not quite sure what those are. I know my neighbor has a pool pump they've been working on across the way, so maybe that's maybe they're doing some work on that today. Not quite sure, but we'll get started and uh, see what we find here. I'll turn the volume up. Almost sounds like a fax signal. I'm using um, shortwavedb.org as my uh, reference today. Let's see what it says. Yeah, so uh, out of Australia, VMC Charleville met fax. Transmitting on 11030. You can hear it there down in the static, but you can hear it. Probably not strong enough to decode, though, I wouldn't think. Uh, sounds like a radio teletype there, 11038. Give it a look here. Okay, yep, that's uh, out of Germany, uh, Panneberg, uh, radio teletype DWD2. Let's switch back here. Noise floor is pretty good today. Oh, there's some interference or something, digital signal or something popped by there. There's that interference. Thankfully, it comes and goes. It doesn't stay. That's a good sign. Some pops and stuff there, as you can see in the waterfall by right here. Let me slide this over a little bit more. Incidentally, these uh, what you see right here, these are markers I've put on here. Um, SDR console has the ability to add markers into what you're hearing. Um, the utilities will kind of stay the same, but when it comes to international broadcasts that I have over here, um, as the schedules change, they change, I think, twice a year. And as they change, of course, all my markers will be outdated. And I'll have to redo them all uh, for the international broadcast. But they're, they're simple to be uh, created and deleted, so it won't be that much of a task. The interference is a uh, signal going by there. Iona sounds are what those are, those little lines that go across. Atmospheric testing. I 
I have the zoom kind of all the way out so we can see the entire 11 megahertz band here. That's why my signal line is so small. I'm not hearing the utilities this morning. Um, kind of expected to, but... Uh, especially around the uh, New York radio uh, frequencies. Of course now, of course when I pass it, there's one right here. You can see the traffic right there. One good thing about SDRs is as you're doing a band scan, if you miss something or, you know, as you're scanning, you don't see it, and then all of a sudden it's there, you can go back and click on it. Okay, okay. Put our thing about right here, and we'll continue on. Noise floor jumping around. Okay. I'm going to switch to AM mode here. Uh, I think the international broadcast band is coming in here I'm a little early. There's definitely a carrier there. Not sure what it is, but it's there. Five fifty. Yeah, well, you see what I see. It uh, can be one of those three stations. Most likely, it's uh, this Turkus jammer jamming. I believe jamming this right here, this clandestine. I think they jam this one, or even Sound of Hope out of Taiwan. I don't know. But. Eleven five seventy. Look. I would presume that that's most likely Voice of America in Korean, out of the Philippines. Continue on here. Just over here a little bit. Something way down there, 11600. Yeah, it looks like to be FEBC out of Manila, out of the Philippines. Eleven six twenty, way down the noise. Adventist World Radio transmitters in Sri Lanka. Eleven six sixty. Okay, yep, I would think it's probably Voice of America out of the Philippines and Chinese. Yeah, that appears to be a radio teletype signal. 11.689. Check that one out. Yep. Reported to be uh, U.S. Navy. 
out of uh, Puerto Rico, actually an 11688. Yeah, it sounds about right. So switch back to AM mode since this is in the international broadcast band, but we'll continue on. Seven one five. Well, it says "Sound of Hope" in Chinese out of Taiwan. I don't really under don't. Not that I don't believe that, but I don't think they have enough power to reach over here at this time of the day. Although you never know. Eleven seven thirty. I would believe that that's the case, then it would be the uh, CNR 1, Channel National Radio 1, jamming the Radio Free Asia broadcast. And that usually happens. Eleven seven forty five. LSM Radio out of uh, Saudi Arabia in Arabic. I think that's off, actually. Yeah, it's most likely 11... Probably 11.760, I think. Yeah, should be Radio Havana, Cuba. Yeah, in Spanish. Right out of Cuba, so... It says KBS World Radio out of South Korea and Russian, although it doesn't really sound like Russian. Well, if that's a closer station, let's continue on, see. That sounds like that could be right here. NHK World Radio in Japanese out of Japan. Yamada, Japan is where the uh, transmitter is. Probably some over the horizon radar. Let's check it out in USB mode. Sounds like it. Although, let's just check this out. Let me switch back to AMO so it's not so loud. Let me switch here. 11860. I wonder if that's a uh, transmission being jammed. When you hear those, um, those signals in the back, like dun, 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 that, that appears to be a jammer, usually used by um, Radio Marti to, to jam uh, some Cuban broadcasts I've heard before. Let's check it out, see what it says. Alrighty, well, it says Radio Republic of Yemen radio in Arabic out of Yemen, uh, transmitter in Saudi Arabia. Could be, could be his interference, maybe, or somebody jamming it. Who knows? Sure does sound like it, though. Sounds like it could be like a China radio or 
11875. Oh, it's a shame we can't hear that. Reach beyond Australia, directly from Australia. That's the digital signal down below. Sort of digital transmissions there. Eleven nine fifty five. China Radio International in Indonesian. Nine nine five. No, no, I'm thinking that's right. Hmm. Well, what do you think, guys? Eleven nine nine five shows it to be BBC World Service. But in the Farsi language, that sounds like Spanish to me. And I know that Cuba has a broadcast on 12 uh, megahertz there. Although it's on the listing. Hmm, okay. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, 11 to 12 uh, megahertz on the uh, SDR console uh, with a... Uh, SDR Play RSP1A. So we got some uh, utilities there, some um, international broadcasts, so not too bad. Uh, noise floor jumping up and down, uh, some interference from local, I believe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you like. Have a great day, everybody.